Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we are going to get 22H2 eventually this fall um, it is being tested right now on release preview and this is what I have here so some of us have moved on to test it and see the future of Windows 11. Um, one of the things that a lot of people ask me is about the install itself. Will it be a big install like Windows uh, 10 feature updates when they added features and it was like a really really big thing that took a long time to do now this feature update for Windows 11 which now would I could we could call it Windows 11 version 2.0 is not that big honestly it has some new features that I've been showing here on the channel but nothing groundbreaking or nothing you know fantastic um, and the move yesterday uh, in the beta channel for insiders to do two tests with the enablement package thing means that they're just testing out the waters to make sure that the update to Windows 11 22H2 will be small, smooth, and should actually work quite easily. So when this is going to arrive this fall, and we're still thinking that the time frame is somewhere in October, the Windows 11 22H2 will come as a cumulative update. So basically what is going to happen, you're just going to go to uh, your updates and it's going to offer you an optional update because it will be an optional update for 22H2. So you can, you know, wait, see if everybody's going well before installing it, which is not a bad idea. But that update will be a cumulative update that's just going to install. You have a restart and it shouldn't take too long. It's not going to be a big Windows update uh, reinstall like Windows add in its feature updates, uh, which you know, was always a big problem because it was not only long, complex, it also had a higher risk of failing and having problems afterwards. And the Windows 11, we shouldn't see those big updates. We should see updates that come through the cumulative update and they are what we call enablement packages. So there's just going to be a cumulative update that's going to have a handful of features and they're going to be working like that. And if you noticed Windows 11 between version 1 last year and version 2 coming this fall, we have already had a few little features added here and there as time went by. Expect that to continue throughout next year for the version 22H2. So um, I think long gone are the days of the really big, tough reinstall of Windows to get just few features within new version of Windows. Uh, Windows 11 is more optimized for that. And even Windows 10 now is optimized for that. And we're going to talk about that in the next video also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.